Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about multiple rules of polynomial function. Here is the definition. If a function f(x) can be written as x minus c squared times another polynomial function, then the c is a multiple root for the function f(x). So, in order to verify whether or not a point is a multiple root of a function, then we have to rewrite the function as the form like this. This process will be tedious. However, we can have an equivalent statement. If a c is a multiple root of a function f(x), if and only if the function at point c equals zero, and the function derivative at point c also equals zero. So this is much easier to verify whether c is a multiple root of the function f(x). Now I just want to prove this statement is equivalent to this original definition. So for the f(c) equals zero, of course the function f(x) can be written as x minus c times another function kx. Then we can perform the derivative in f(x). So we can have f(x) derivative equals kx plus x minus c times kx derivative. Now derivative at point c equals zero. Then we will have this expression, which means the function k at the point C also equals zero. Therefore, the kx can be written as x minus c times another function gx. Then we can put this function kx into this form. Then we can have function f(x) equals x minus c squared times function gx. This is exactly the same as the original definition. So, therefore, we can use this statement to verify whether c is a multiple root of a function f(x). Here is example. If we have a function f(x) equals x power of four minus seven times x power of three plus x squared. Times 15x plus 150. We want to verify whether x equals 5 is a multiple root for this function. Then, at first, we can plug 5 into this equation to calculate the function value at x equals 5. So we can get the function value equals 0. Then we should perform the derivative in the function f(x) which we have this expression then we plug x equals 5 into this derivative expression which we get the derivative at x equals 5 also equals 0 then based on these two steps we can have the point x equals 5 is a multiple root of a function f(x) which means this function can be written at least as x minus 5 squared times another function gx. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.